So how good is a Cortex-M4 at doing DSP operations? Two ways to look at this. One is to look at it from a microcontroller point of view. A typical microcontroller will take multiple cycles to do a single cycle multiply accumulate, where the Cortex-M4 has been designed to do it in one cycle. The Cortex-M3 is good at doing DSP, but it takes three to seven cycles to do a multiply accumulate. So you can see that the M4 with a single cycle multiply accumulate, which is at the inner loop of traditional DSP algorithms such as an FIR, an IIR, or an FFT, um, one cycle makes it much, much faster. Now, if you're not doing signal processing, the M4 actually doesn't have much of an advantage over the M3. But if you are, uh, significant improvements for doing DSP type applications. Now, if we look at it from a DSP point of view, how does it compare? We did some benchmarks against the M4 versus some 16-bit uh, DSP and a 32-bit DSC. And what we saw is for an IIR and an FFT, it was very similar. So very good performance from the Cortex-M4. DSPs have been optimized to do FIR filters. So a single cycle multiply accumulate, they have some additional parallelism, they have zero red looping, they have circular buffering. So for small filters, the M4 performs extremely well compared to a DSP, but for larger filters, the DSP has the advantage. So if you're doing pure DSP FIR filters, a DSP is going to be an advantage for you. Now, if we look at a bigger system or a bigger uh, application like an MP3 decode, we see that the actual um, things that have to be calculated gives an advantage to the M4 again because in an MP3 you have to do some, some bit packing and unpacking and the M4 can do that better than a DSP. So as it turns out for an MP3, an M4 has a better benchmark than your traditional DSP. There's other things that the M4 brings you in terms of connectivity, low power, flash performance, um, a, a wide range of tools for a proprietary, a non-proprietary environment, 32-bit operations, so it's much easier with C, so a lot of it, uh, benefits. So I'd encourage you to look at the benchmarks, figure out what the uh, performance you need, and we'll see if the M4 can do it. And if you need more information, check on our website.